friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a small incision cataract surgery for ophthalmology residents and beginner eye surgeons all around the world the eyeball has been pushed down by a muscle hook now a superior rectus brittle suture is being applied yes now we are going to do conjunctival peritomy in this case i am going to make a 5 mm incision for this surgery because the cataract is quite soft and i'm sure it will come out through a 5 mm incision in toto so conjunctival peritomy is being done for 2 o'clock hours from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock and now i am going to dissect the tenons this is the tenons and little bit trimming of the tenons has been done so that sclera is nicely exposed now the tenons on the right side is not yet dissected and this is the tenons on the right side yes little bit trimming of this tenon is being done because sometimes if the conjunctiva retracts this tenons get get exposed and there can be tenons granuloma in some cases and now this is weight field bipolar weight field cautery very minimal cautery is required and it is done we should not do too much cautery the sclera should not contract because of this weight field cautery and now this is a 15 number bard pakka blade and it is being used to place the main incision and this is a frown incision about 5 mm in length and now this is the scleral corneal tunnel i start the tunnel from the center go into clear cornea then sweep backward and to the left and make the left half of the tunnel i go up to 1.5 or maximum 2 mm into clear cornea and i think this is enough and now the tunnel on the right side is being uh, made just go into clear cornea and sweep backward and to the right and thus i make the sclerocorneal tunnel on the right side and now i'm going to do capsulorexis this is this is a side port at 9 o'clock and now this is tripen blue dye it is being used to stain the anterior capsule and now little bit of adrenaline has been applied and the people has dilated very well because of this adrenaline and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and the air bubble is replaced and now i'm going to do capsulorexis with the help of this needle this is a capsular tag and i guide this tag all around by this needle itself and do a continuous cavilinear capsulorexis with needle this rexis is a bit slow in my hands however it is okay i usually do rexis with iterata forceps so the nice rexis has been done 
by the needle 26 case band needle system and now I'm going to open the tunnel go to the anterior extreme of the tunnel and then enter into the anterior chamber and cut the tissue while going forward and now uh, hydro dissection I did hydro delineation first and now this is hydro dissection and I'm trying to prolapse the nucleus into the anterior chamber but it didn't come so I'll prolapse the nucleus with the help of two Sinsky hooks yes the nucleus has been prolapsed and now some visco is applied first in front and then behind the nucleus and now I'm going to use an irrigating vectus this one to deliver this nucleus see how beautifully it comes out through a 5 millimeter incision because this is a soft nucleus and now the epinucleus is coming because the incision is only 5 millimeter I did hydro delineation first so that the nucleus can come out through this small wound in Toto and the epinucleus has been also removed and now I'm going to remove the cortex this is cortex it is pulled towards the center and aspirated now after cleaning this much of cortex we go through the side port and remove the sub incisional cortex yes the cortical cleanup has been done nicely and now in this case I'm going to implant a foldable intraocular lens and if we plan to use a foldable intraocular lens we must use a cartridge because if the wound is small it is very difficult and cumbersome to use a forceps and if we use a cartridge the leading haptic can be easily placed in the capsular bag and the trailing haptic can be very easily dialed into the capsular bag and uh, here it is this is the trailing haptic it is being dialed into the capsular bag yes the lens is now in the capsular bag and now we have used viscoelastic substance to implant the intraocular lens for to easily implant the intraocular lens and now we have to remove the visco first uh, irrigate the anterior chamber with BSS and then I go behind the eye wheel and irrigate the capsular back 
by eating a lactate or BSS. Just by this irrigation, a lot of visco comes out through the main wound. And then uh, use only the irrigation and aspiration both together uh, with the Simcoe 23 gauze Simcoe and a nice cleaning of viscoelastic substance is done. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side port at 9 o'clock is closed by hydration of corneal stroma around this stab incision. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. After a final lavage, the anterior chamber is nicely formed and the integrity of the wounds are checked. And now we have to do the superiectus brittle suture is removed. And now we have to oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus. This is one way we can give a subconjunctival injection of centromycin and dexamethasone just uh, near the insertion of superior rectus tendon. And this chemosis occurs and the conjunctiva comes forward. And the eye is passed overnight and the conjunctiva gets nicely adhered to the limbus. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.